What's up you guys, it's Jake Carnas. So, earlier this week was National Superman Day. I wanna say it was Monday or Tuesday. But, since it was earlier in the week and I only post my videos on Friday, Instagram saw the drawing first. So if you don't wanna miss out on anything, go on Instagram, give me a follow. Jake Carnas Art, just like my YouTube. If there is anything that YouTube doesn't see first, it'll definitely be on there. Uh, yeah, it was National Superman Day. I made a drawing, made some prints. It's now currently available on my website, so go ahead and check that out. Um, this video, you're obviously gonna see the process of the drawing, how it came out, and you're gonna see the final product at the end. So if you are interested, go on my website, jcarnesart.com, get yourself a print. While you're there, check out all the other prints I have on there. So I hope you enjoy the video. Alrighty, so the very first thing I am doing is sketching out the drawing quick and loose straight to the point the idea is to get the best composition possible and once I think I got that down it's time to block in with the main colors before starting this I was debating on doing like a full body drawing of Superman maybe kind of like lifting a car up or something or maybe flying through the sky but instead I went with what I believe was a much nicer composition uh, a close-up view of his superhero outfit showing underneath his work clothes. As a kid, I always thought it was super cool that nobody was ever able to tell that Clark was Superman and that he never had to change clothes. He was just always ready because you never know when the world needed help. But man, as I got older, it just got funny because I would just think about having that suit underneath my work clothes. And all I can think about was how uncomfortable and hot it must have been for him. But of course, I mean, it's Superman, so I highly doubt that happened to him. Again, we're talking about cartoon, but can you imagine? But yeah, I color the piece working in different shades of the blue, lights and darks all throughout, creating folds in the clothes, jumping back and forth between the painting to make sure that it's all properly balanced. The whole idea is to let the colors and the shapes do the job. In the reference I found, it was a much further shot of Clark running and ripping off his shirt. You can see his face and most of his body. Um, but I didn't want a full shot, I just wanted to focus on the logo, on the symbol. So I zoomed in, changed the colors a bit, I changed the color of the tie for sure. The tie he had on was hideous. It was taken away from the symbol, it was just way too distracting. I think it was red, with like stripes or something like that, I don't know. But the only red I wanted in the drawing was from the symbol. So I thought the black tie was much nicer. But yeah, adjusting the colors, working lighter and darker, finding the right shades, making sure the shadows and highlights make sense. And I just, I keep repeating the same process throughout the whole drawing until I feel like it's complete. The toughest part was the hands. They aren't hard to do exactly. They're just really tedious. You have to make sure that, you know, the proportions of the hands are right because if not they won't look like hands so I'm not a fan I tried to not think too much on it I just let the shades and the colors like kind of form the knuckles and the fingers and such if you notice I actually spent most of the time on everything else to make sure that the symbol and the clothing stood out a lot more to distract you from the hands So yeah, that was the hardest. The easiest part of the piece was the suit jacket. I used big brush strokes of different shades of blue, uh, ranging from a mid blue to like a dark blue, almost a black, letting the contrast kind of just create the folds themselves. The Superman logo, I made sure it was big and bright and red and yellow and just almost in the center of the drawing, just slightly above the center to make sure that it really pulls your eyes in and it distracts you from everything else going around, especially the hands. The piece overall was very fun. I love that I chose this way to represent Superman instead of a common flying composition or something like that like I mentioned before. 
I actually recently read the All-Star Superman graphic novel for the first time. It was good, a lot going on, it jumps around a little bit, not too much, but there is a bit of information kind of just thrown at you. It's non-stop from the very beginning. The story was interesting because uh, it focuses on him spending the last bit of time he has left in this world, making sure that everything is okay as it can possibly be. It shows you how strong and caring he really is. I wouldn't say it's my favorite Superman story though. I think I'll have to go with the death of Superman as my favorite, but then again, I don't really read too much Superman, so I wouldn't have a lot to compare. As most of you already know, I'm a huge Batman fan, so... So if you do read Superman, let me know in the comments what you've read lately, and if you have a favorite story, because I'd like to hear some suggestions. But anyway, I hope you guys liked the video. I hope you liked the piece. I'll have prints available on my website, so go get yourself one. I also have others available, jcarnasart.com, so go check it out. Also, go follow me on my Instagram. Like I mentioned earlier, I tend to post a little more on there. Um, sometimes Instagram will see stuff before YouTube does. But yeah, it's the same name as my YouTube channel. And in the description, I'll have affiliate links to my favorite and most used art materials. So if you're interested in that, check that out too. So thank you guys very much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. Before you guys go, make sure you stay for the final shots. I'll see you guys soon.